Some sailors are getting a chance to spend time back aboard the boat they were on a few decades ago. Navy vets from all across the country are here in Buffalo, staying on the USS Little Rock. News Force Allie Ingersoll is on the ship with them, hearing about why they come back each year. Men who spent time serving in the Navy aboard the USS Little Rock are back on board now as they're here doing maintenance on the ship, making sure it's ready for the tourism season. The Navy teaches you discipline. You don't give up when you've got a good thing. And the good thing is this ship. With the discipline and precision they all learn through their enlistments, these Navy veterans work diligently on the USS Little Rock, the boat they once called home. The Rock's the only ship I ever knew. I didn't get transferred. I stayed here. Lance Manis served as a missile tech third class on this vessel from 1962 to 1964. He's back here this week, again with other military members who had similar experiences on here, many of whom he never met, though. It's great to swap stories. Manis came from Long Island to spend the week on the ship. He's among about 40 veterans staying here in these bunks again, making sure it's ready for the busy tourism season at the Naval Park. We uh, volunteer our time to come up and uh, do chores. Uh, a lot of it is pick and span. Some of it is major work, uh, trying to really keep it up so that the uh, public can uh, see what an active military ship uh, is supposed to look like. The veteran who did three tours aboard the Little Rock feels it's important for people to come onto the ship while looking back at the nation's history. This helps remind the people of uh, you know what we do. There is sacrifice, obviously. A sacrifice he says he'd willingly make again. It's an honor to serve, and uh, you know I love the ship. And all of the men I spoke with today say they look forward to this every year, coming back and serving on the USS Little Rock once again. Reporting from aboard the Little Rock, Ellie Ingersoll, News 4.